so funny to me how the men that nobody wants love to call the men that the prettiest, richest, most mentally stable women want simps. These rich men with manners and jobs and cars and jets are simps. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I love simps. And that's why nobody loves you. Man, I'm telling my brothers, the delusions of black women, bro, when it comes down to dating, it, it's time for us to check this madness, bro. For real, man. Let's talk about this on the Black Alpha. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's going to be You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. You know, I've seen that clip on those Shade Dude Jackson, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how this dude be finding this stuff, man. But anyway, you heard the dumb shit this chick said. Let me tell you something, bro. In order for anything she said to even be true, the conclusions that she reached to be true, the factors have to be true. And the factors are not true. If this broke bitch knew anybody with a jet that liked her raggedy ass, you think she'd be online talking all this dumb ass shit, bro? You think that chick even be online giving a fuck? See, this is the same thing, man, with Kristen and Karazin and all them stuff back in the days when it was, when the swirling thing had some steam behind it. That shit didn't fizzle clean out, huh, bro? But y'all remember back in the days, man, when it, when it had some steam behind it? I'm saying back in the days for y'all, because I'm old, so that's not back in the days for me. But there was a time when that stuff had a little steam behind it. But have you ever looked at the reality of these girls' lives, these women? Kristen and Karazin's husband was ugly. He wasn't no top tier white boy in no regard. Other than he probably had a decent job. The, the, the girls that write, the women, the black women that write all these fetish novels, you know, over white men and stuff like this here, you know. Have you seen their husbands? None of them was married to a white boy that looked like anything. In fact, they didn't look like anything. So, you know, you, you're listening to a bunch of people that are living in a fantasy world of pure delusion, bro. There is something wrong with these women. For this woman to be talking about men with 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 with, with, with jets and stuff that like us and stuff. I mean, who gives a fuck? Go get you a man with a jet bitch and shut the fuck up. Who cares? Fuck, you think that make me less less of a man because I don't have a jet? I don't feel no kind of way. See, that's the problem with you young dudes. This shit bother y'all. But dudes in my generation, we laugh at chicks like this. This is pure insanity, bro. She is a joke among jokers. You know what I'm saying? She's a joke among jokes. You know, that's all she is. You know, I mean, for her to start off, and you know, y'all all do this, even in the malice for y'all always, it's always the high value man. Men who got this, men who got that, they don't want a woman who this. A woman can't come at a, a woman can't come at a real man sideways no matter what he got. Got nothing to do with his income. Y'all need to stop basing everything off this mythological wealth that nobody really has. Y'all don't know a rich person. Y'all don't know a high value man by y'all descriptions. And I'm gonna keep saying this uh, every time it comes up in topic. I'm gonna keep on pointing this out. I actually know a general manager over a very, very expensive hotel chain. I mean, the hotel rooms are like a thousand dollars a night. One of those type of hotel chains, right? I know the general manager, he's a brother. And he's one of the most normal niggas you can ever meet. If that dude was around you right now, you would even know he was a general manager balling like that. You wouldn't even know this nigga here pulling in man two, three hundred thousand dollars a year off a salary. You wouldn't know it. Because he don't act no kind of way. This nigga be chilling, chilling like a villain. And he like me because we cool because you know I had a business pulling that kind of money at one time, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm not making that kind of money, but there was a time when I was, and he can always tell that I was just on a different level, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping, fuck, we all people, man. You doing good, I'm not doing this good no more, fuck, good for you. I need to, you know, step my game up, and, and that's how it is. We don't mooch off when we go out, but you know, he going to like, buy the drinks and shit, and nah, nah, fuck that nigga, we carry our own weight, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't really drink alcohol, but you know, I do might like, drink something soft, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, the dude is one of the most normal people you can meet. 
And I get tired of hearing y'all describe men like him, like they're some kind of alien or something, like, 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 like they some stuck up group of people, some snooty group of people, and these brothers not even like that, man. Because when I was pulling in, you know, almost a half a million dollars in my business a year, I wasn't like that. I was still one of the most chill, chill dudes around, man. I mean, I was exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. Whether I had it or didn't have it, it never mattered. My characteristics are my characteristics. My personality is my personality. And my appeal to women is my appeal to women. It never mattered. Women didn't fuck with me because I had anything because most women didn't know I had that. I owned several stores in New Orleans and most women that I was fucking didn't even know I owned those stores. Never asked me. I never said. So yeah, when y'all talk like this, y'all are presupposing a certain, a certain thing to be just understood fact that's not even fact at all. So you build upon that. What you're doing, what this crazy delusional chick is doing, and a lot of times the mistake y'all make in the manosphere, manosphere is that y'all create a baseline for an argument that's, that's supposed to be understood to be true, and that baseline isn't even true. That baseline isn't even true. All this talk about these rich men and what they got. Y'all not even around them kind of people, man. How, would, how in the hell would y'all know what these kinds of people got? Y'all not around these people. How would y'all know what these people have? How would y'all know how these people act? How would y'all know how these people wives have to be? I've met rich, rich men and their wives. And they don't move nothing like y'all say they move. I've been pretty well off, and I never moved the way y'all say they, say we move. Again, I know a GM over 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 luxury hotel chain. He don't move the way y'all claim they move, and he ain't the only cat I met like that. I met radio station personalities. Look, I've been around. Y'all gotta understand. I had a I had an organization in New Orleans that had me politically connected, and I met all kinds of people through that organization. And none of them people in the upper echelon of, of the society act the way y'all think they act. You go to their functions, especially if it's black people, you go to their functions, I mean, they, they, they gangsta out in that bitch. Ain't no stiff ass violins playing. No, man, they, they be bumping in that bitch. Y'all seen Obama's parties, man, at his inauguration parties. That's how niggas act in the upper echelon. That's really how they act. They don't act no different because they come from a certain culture. Everything is cultural, and y'all missing that. The money is not going to change the, for the fundamentals of a person. Like I said, whatever you got in you, the money just allows you to exacerbate it. But the money don't change the fundamentals of the characteristics or cultural aspects of a person. It don't change it. People don't change like that. If somebody get a few dollars and get all snooted, they, was, they were already like that. They just couldn't act upon it. But most cats, they get a few dollars, man, they don't change. So you would never know what they got or don't have anyway, man. You just wouldn't know. There is no way to know. There's, there is just no way to know what people got in their pockets because this high value man and the way they carry themselves, it don't exist. All these dudes out here putting on purple suits and all this dumbass shit with no socks with the hard shoes on, trying to look apart. These dudes are faking. They're trying to look apart. Because their God was the image consultant. But that don't make you that part. Dressing like that don't make you what you claim to be. Only being something makes you that. See, see, whatever you are, you don't have to claim to be it because you are that. It is just what it is. And this baseline that y'all argue from, everything based on men who got themselves together, men who got this, men who got that, it, it's, it's, it's a false dichotomy. I don't know if it's, it's appeal to ignorance. I don't know if it's some kind of red herring. I really don't know which logical fallacy it falls under. But it is a fallacy. You cannot factor in uh, things that are not true to reach your own conclusion. Eight plus 27 don't equal three. It don't work that way. It just don't work that way. And these are the kinds of things that y'all are trying to do. 
Y'all are trying to y'all trying to force a baseline to be accepted as truth that is not true at all. This chick talking about all these high mighty men that won't who gives a fuck. Go get them men that shut the fuck up. And why half the women that supporting your dumb raggedy ass? That raggedy bitch, no man with no money want no bitch like that. She ragged as fuck. And, and any woman listening to her is stupid because y'all know goddamn well y'all not around them kind of men. And if y'all was around them kind of men, them men would not like your raggedy ass. And she talking about these kind of men that like us. Wait, wait, if them kind of men like you, bitch, why you ain't balling? You better hope a rapper get lucky, you know what I'm saying? Make some money and like your ragged ass together. That's the only thing gonna like you is old ghetto nigga that got money. Because if we talking about a certain level of, 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 of intellectual, cultural class, they not gonna like no raggedy bitch like that. It ain't happening. It's not happening. We don't want no ragged ass bitch like this chick, man. That, that chick couldn't even come in my face when I was her age, man. I would have laughed at her, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had money. Look, at her age, I actually had it like that. And I would have laughed at him like, what, what am I going to do with you? You don't get your skanky, ragged ass out of my face. So she's pretending like, like these high, high, highly wealthy men are checking for their ragged asses. If that's the truth, why don't y'all all go get y'all a wealthy man and leave us the fuck alone? Y'all heard me? The delusion of these women have to stop. But before we can check them, we got to check ourselves, my brothers, in the manosphere because we argue from the same base of delusion. Everything we argue from is based on men that got shit that we don't have. Well, how, how did that benefit you, my brother? How always talking about this mythical uh, high-value man benefit you when you know you ain't got it like that? What about you? When somebody's going to tailor information for you, when somebody's gonna argue for you, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to argue for you. Y'all want people to constantly argue on behalf of, of dudes that don't exist. I don't give a fuck what nigga do have a raw blue suit on walking around looking like a damn clown. That don't make him a high value man. He can wear all the little brim hats he won't, but feathers poked in it. You know, that shit don't make him no high value man, bro. When somebody's going to argue about you, the, 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 the real man, the, 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 the person that really exists in this madness of a society that we live in, when are we going to address your situation, brothers? See, y'all get mad at me because y'all think I'm against y'all in the manosphere. But I'm against the manosphere in, 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 I mean, philosophically, I'm against the manosphere because I don't see the manosphere as being anything other than an idealistic opposition to feminism. And I'm not saying that to a degree that that is not a good thing i'm saying that it don't it don't benefit because feminism does the same thing a lot of what women argue they argue from a, a base of lies so they start at a point that's not true and they argue from there it's a straw man argument in, in, in essence it's a straw man argument they start from a base that's not real and they base all of their arguments on that on that fact that that's not even true and they make all their arguments based on this. But the problem is, this is not true. And most of y'all don't have the intellectual capacity to see that. But that's why y'all got older brothers like me. That's supposed to come and tell y'all this. Not for y'all to get mad at me, man. <clears throat> I'm old enough to be most of you dudes' daddy. Don't be fucking mad at me. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you, man. Don't try to pretend like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about when I don't go through what y'all go through, even now. That's the craziness of it, man. Y'all should be wanting to follow my lead instead of telling me to follow your lead. No, you wrong, old man. You don't know what you're talking about. The fuck? Well, how about you try what I'm trying to tell you? How about you listen to me, man? How about you get off this bullshit, bro? Listen to me. I'm trying to school you. You don't need to teach me shit because I'm not the one caught up in all these bullshit lies. And I'm not the one who believe all this dumb shit. You are. I'm not the one that feels left out of the argument and neglected. You are. I'm here trying to bring the argument for you. I'm, try I'm trying to talk to you and for you. Because I know that baseline that they're always arguing from don't exist. I know it doesn't exist. And a lot of brothers that's making a little change, man, they don't see themselves as being rich. 
Most of them don't act no differently. They don't, they don't move no differently. Y'all just don't understand this stuff, bro. It's not like that at all. So what we gotta do is, we gotta stop even believing the delusions of these women. These women are crazy, man. Every woman, every man that argues from that base, something is wrong with them, bro. It tells me that they don't even go outside. It tells me they don't, they don't even go into the real world and see what real people are doing. Because if that's their, if that, if that's their perception of reality, they, then they live in a matrix of some type for real. For real, for real. Because that is not reality. They need to come out in the real world and see what real people are doing and look at real couples. Look at how they look. You should have seen all the, all the bad sisters I seen out last night with little short niggas. She towering over these dudes. She got, she sexy as fuck, you know, but the only thing these dudes are not insecure either. That's another problem y'all got, but I ain't, gonna talk, I ain't gonna talk about that right now. But that's a big problem y'all got. You know what I'm saying? Every man that I was with, we all feel the same way. If our girls are fine enough to still wear it, we let them wear it. As long as it's appropriate for the, for the environment, we don't care. And when you looked around the spot where we was at, you know what I'm saying, packed in this bitch. A lot of couples, a lot of black couples, you know what I'm saying? A lot of single black women too, though. But a lot of, most of the men had women with them, but most of you did have pockets of women with just women. But you didn't have no pockets of black men. Almost all the black men had a woman. And you had <clears throat> probably about 35, 40% of the black women were in groups, you know, so it was like that. But if you looked at the couples, you know, the black couples, them girls were setting it off, man. Them fucking women wasn't playing. They were setting it out, bro. Fine as fuck, wearing sexy shit, and their husbands or boyfriends or whoever they was just chilling. A lot of y'all dudes can't even do that. But the thing I want, the, the point I really wanted to talk about or, or highlight is the looks of these people. This is not rich people. These are regular people. Regular Joe with a job, got a beautiful ass sister. Fine sister. That's what I was seeing. Regular cats with jobs. Got beautiful women, man. Fine sisters. You know, and truth be told, while I'm thinking about it, most of the pockets of women that were single, they were your raggedy hoes. They was even the best looking ones in there. The better looking black women all had them a man. Yeah, I just thought about this. The better looking black women had a man. So, so y'all whole, everything y'all talking about, the baseline is off. It's not even like that. It's not even like that. It may have been like that a few years ago, but a lot of these prettier women, man, especially the prettier black women, and they're, if they're still young enough, they are, they are getting away from that bullshit. They're like, man, the hell with this shit. So you do have, you know, some nice looking black women make these videos online, bashing men or forget relationships. You, you got that. But who are they speaking for? Are they speaking for a majority or a very, very fractional minority? That's the question. Because you think that they're talking across the board for women, for black women in general, and they're not. Most black women don't even know their asses exist and don't listen to them. Just like most black men are not even aware the manosphere is real. Don't listen to it. We gotta do better, man. We gotta do better as a people. Leave the delusions alone. Stick to reality. And if the brothers, the regular brothers want to know how they need to, you know, tweak things so, so they can maneuver a little better, that's what I'm here for. I can't argue with or against uh, 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 fallacies. I can't do it. There's no, there's no arguing there. If somebody starts something from a pointless stance, a, 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 a baseless point of view, whatever conclusion they reach is, is, is irrelevant. I can't argue with that, because it's stupid. None of this shit that girl said in that clip was true. None of it. None of it. I'm not, I mean, none of it. All this shit about us being broken and we saw this, and it, it, it's, none of it's true. And I have no idea why you black men let this kind of shit bother y'all, bro. Y'all should be laughing at this shit. Y'all shouldn't be doing videos, you know, trying to counter her. Y'all should be laughing at these kinds of women because she is obviously living in her own world. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel.
Till next time, I'm out this bitch. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha. And this, we are gonna call this movement, Alpha MGTOW. That's what it is. Alpha MGTOW, MGTOW the Alpha way. Either one works. Till next time, I'm out this bitch. Salam.